my man on fire. Hey, Jack, what up, man? So we in business, so we in business. You're definitely the name that's being thrown around the water cooler lately, no doubt. You keep doing what you're doing, keep rising up, then yeah, we in business. Yeah, man, because I'm seeing a signature shoe line and some commercials. Interesting. Interesting. Because I was about to say I've been seeing something out. Oh, yeah, what's that? Long road left to travel. <laughs> you're a player now, sure. Not like old J.E. in his prime, no. But uh, everyone is talking about you. You're all over the highlight reels. Remember, though, this is Nike, Jordan. We are the cream that floats above all else. We tell you when it's time, not the other way around. Hey, listen, Jack, I ain't ego tripping, man. I'm just trying to be part of the family. I'm going to earn my way up. You just show me how, all right? Smart man. Smart. OK. We'll be in touch. You keep balling, we'll keep talking. Like I said, it's your show, homie. I'll be watching. Yes, indeed. Your boy's been putting in work, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, just taking a quick look at the league leaders list, DeMarcus Flight is leading the league in scoring and assists, averaging 33.5 points a game, 10.3 assists a game, and I'm actually trying to make that assist total a little bit higher, but for now, it is what it is. I'm happy to be at the top of the list so far, and I think we only have about 15 games left in the season or so, so we're really trying to make a strong push to lead the league in assists and scoring in the same season, and I think we have a pretty good shot at doing it. The only legitimate threat that I can see is Kevin Durant, who's just about at the 33 point a game mark. And I can see once the simulation kicks in, I can see them really trying to push Kevin Durant to take the scoring crown. So we'll see how that plays out. Now, taking a quick look at the playoff picture, you can see that my Lakers are nowhere in sight. I mean, we might be close. We're on the outside looking in right now. We're 30 and 36. And with 16 games left, I know a lot of you guys out there are thinking, C23, why don't you just ball out why don't you just ball out and just make the playoffs just go undefeated for the next 16 games and i can tell you just based on my experience with this game so far there's no way that i'm going to make the playoffs it's really going to take a miracle and i can tell you why two things are going to happen one is there's no way in the world that i'm going to win all 16 of these last games it's just not going to happen the cpu is just going to take over and cheat me out of a handful of games at least and then on top of it the second thing the teams that are currently ahead of me, the Utah Jazz, Dallas Mavericks, Minnesota Timberwolves, while I'm losing these games, of course they're going to be winning. So there's no way that I'm going to make up that deficit. Now, of course, mind you, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to do everything possible to try to get in the playoffs and hopefully snag that 8th seed or maybe even that 7th seed with 16 games to go. It's just not looking good. But we'll see how it plays out. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted. But now it's time to dive into this gameplay. But before we do, I got to say what's going down, folks. It's your boy C23, and we are back on the sticks once again with another NBA 2K15 My Career episode. Now, as you can already tell, today's opponent is the New York Knicks. Got Mello in the building, you know, right in front of a jam-packed Staples Center home crowd. We got to do what we got to do tonight. We got to come out and get this W. And on top of everything else, like you all saw in the intro, there's a possible shoe deal in the works. We definitely got to come out and put our best performance on the board because Jackson Ellis, as much as we hate him, he's the gatekeeper, folks. He's the guy that's standing in between us and our shoe deal. So we have to do what we have to do to make sure that we can close this deal. Folks, this is my second season playing in these no-name NBA 2K generic branded shoes, and I'm over it. We got to step up and command the type of respect that we deserve in this league. DeMarcus Flight has already been playing at an elite level, so it's now time for those off-court endorsements to finally step up and match his elite level on the court because he's killing the league right now. As you can see, just doing people dirty every possession. And I'll hold that thought for a minute because Stoudemire really needs to learn how to stop jumping. Just get out the way. And Jackson Ellis, you know my boy DeMarcus makes defenses pay every possession. If you leave him open, he makes you pay. If you decide to want to double team him, he's going to find the open teammate, like in this case where he finds Swaggy P for the open three-point bomb. Somebody get this man a deal. 
And no, Carmelo, you are not getting anything easy. Look at us putting the clamps down. Look at Carmelo just throwing up some garbage with a contested jump shot. That's not happening. So I decided to leak out and transition, get the outlet pass, and let it go. Why not? Why not? Should have been the three, but I stepped in a couple steps, so we'll still take the result nonetheless. And look at these guys, always trying to bring the double team as if I won't find the open teammate. In this case, it's Kobe, burying the wide open jump shot. Now, it's no secret that since DeMarcus has been in LA, Kobe's been working with them on his fadeaway jump shot. And I think he's got it. What do you guys think? Flight's going one on one against Shumpert, backing him down, turns toward the baseline, elevates and releases the shot. Melo rotates over too late. Shot's already good, man. Too little, too late. What else you gonna do? Just take the bucket. And you just got crossed. Oh my. Melo, really? You're just gonna low bridge me? Ref, where's the foul? Where's the foul, ref? He rotated over so late, basically slid his entire body underneath me, and I fell and hit the deck. And there's no call? What is that garbage? Oh, good defense on this next play. Oh, we're running the break. Going up, attacking the buck. Really? Again, tons of contact, no whistle. I don't understand. Okay, this is three plays in a row. They just come out and just mug my guy. Randall catches the pass, tries to attack the rim. And look at this. Are there any referees in the Staples Center right now? What is going on? My guys are out here getting murdered. And there are no whistles being blown. I mean, come on. How much more clear can it be? Give me give me a freaking break, you guys. Seriously, 2K. And then on the very next possession, Randall gets whistled for a foul. After three consecutive plays where I just get mugged. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm just done. Let me just cut this commentary off. And I'm gonna go do something else. You guys enjoy the rest of this video. I'm out of here. unbelievable i can't buy a whistle to save my life and look at the defense everybody watches Melo just going in for the easy layup there were three gold jerseys right there nobody wants to try to contest i don't get it terrible effort but you guys remember this earlier in the video where i got low bridged by carmelo anthony check out the matrix sean Merriam and what he does to get your boys back he puts Melo out <laughs> Melo hits the deck so hard on this play it's just not even funny. He just falls like a sack of potatoes, like Humpty Dumpty or something. Marion just told Melo and laid him out. <laughs> Shout out to Marion for having my back on that, though. What the? Are you serious? You mean to tell me I can't pass it to a guy that's directly in front of me? The ball goes over his head and ricochets off the bottom of the backboard and goes right to Jordan Hill? I, come on, man. Fortunately, that play worked out for me, but they were really trying to stiff your boy with that one. But fortunately, we get away with it. In the game this close, though, we can't have those types of glitches. Is they just knocking a three-point bucket to go up one? So on my next possession, we got to answer the score. I find Marion wide open. He drains in the three. We go back up two. Let's get it. It's coming down to the wire, folks. 112-112. -12. I should have direct passed it, but I turned it over through it right to Amari. And they run the break and score. So 114-112, we cannot afford an empty possession at all. So they bring the double team when I'm backing down. I find who else? The Black Mamba, wide open. He drains a three-point bucket to recapture the lead. Here we go. Clock's winding down. Nine seconds to go. Melo is basically escorted to the rim by the Matrix, who fouls him on the shot. So these are some crucial free throws right here, folks. What does Carmelo do? Misses the first one. That's surprising. I really thought they would take the lead. But of course, the second one cashes in. So it's a tie game. We have one possession to win it. DeMarcus Flight with the rock trying to split the defense. One second to go. Gets the shot off at the elbow and drains it. The Lakers hold on to win in dramatic fashion. 117 to 115. DeMarcus Flight with the buzzer beater. Hey, you can't dream it up any better than that, folks. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right, man. No, you took the long view. And that's always a good call. Now, all you gotta focus on is getting to the end of that rainbow, where we're gonna party with that sweet leprechaun who's gonna give us his big fat pot of gold! Never mind the troll who's guarding it. Do you even believe half the stuff that comes out of your mouth? And look, you got your fairy tales all mixed up. Trolls guard bridges. <laughs> you know who doesn't have a troll? Adidas. They just sent me a text. They want you. What? Why do you keep waiting to tell me this stuff, man? 
The Adidas D-Rose is all I wanted when I was in school. It's all teed up. You say the word, I'll make it happen. Or we'll go back to Ellis for one final meeting to make it official with either Nike or Jordan. And don't get worried. There are ample opportunities with all of them. I'm talking commercials, billboards, uh, personal appearances, signature shoes, oh yeah, and plenty of money. This comes down to personal preference. I'll do whatever you want. It's your call. So it took me two seasons to finally get to this point where I can make a decision on what shoe company I want to sign with. What do you guys think I should do? Should I go Jordan all the way? Should I go with Nike? Or should I completely break the mold and go in opposite direction and sign with Adidas? I don't believe I've ever seen any player on YouTube sign with Adidas. Should I be the first? What do you guys think about that? That would be crazy, right? Anyway, I'm already leaning with going a different direction because I've already signed with Jordan in the past in 2K14, but I'm still curious to get your thoughts. So drop me a comment, like I said before. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should do. And uh, we're going ahead and get this thing rolling, all right? Anyways, folks, this video has run long enough. We're creeping up at the 11, 15 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff that you guys do. I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one real soon.